the clearest images yet of interstellar comet 3i Atlas. These images, taken by amateur observer Kalapa stars from the dark skies of Hanakaha, Hawaii, provide a clear view of a rare and controversial optical phenomenon, a thin anti-photon tail pointing toward the sun. These overlapping exposures, processed using advanced AI refinement techniques, confirm the presence of a highly collimated stream of material that is now challenging standard commentary models. This is happening right now. The observation made using the C-STAR S50 smart telescope takes advantage of Earth's unique position relative to the comet's orbital plane. According to data released this week, the image reveals a nuclear structure that appears to be distinct from the diffuse cometary clouds typically seen in comets in the solar system. Instead of a chaotic cloud of sublimating ice and gas, Colopa Star's data shows a focused, coherent projection, which has sparked a fierce debate in the astrophysics community about the object's composition and origin. Scientists are analyzing the data immediately. Stay tuned because what happens next will blow your mind if you are curious about the mystery of the 3 I atlas. And let me know where you are watching this video from. I want to see where in the world this is happening with me. The focus of the new data set is the comet's reverse tail structure, a phenomenon often explained as a geometric illusion caused by heavy dust particles lagging behind in orbit. But this time, the sharpness and stability of the images from Hawaii far exceed anything previously recorded, forcing observers to wonder if they're witnessing something entirely different. While mainstream astronomers have assumed it's simply the result of Earth passing through the orbital plane and observing the dust from a side angle, object tracking groups like Space Tracker have raised more questions. They say the tail's unusual integrity suggests density and mass that can't be attributed to loose dust, suggesting the possibility of a deeper factor. Initial analysis deepened the mystery. The fact that the tail remained so straight, sharp, and stable required particles that were unusually heavy for a comet, opening up the possibility of heavy metals, dense minerals, or even rare rocky materials in the nucleus. Some researchers even wondered if it could be the remnants of a strange geological process, or more daringly, traces of an ancient artificial structure drifting through space. As of November 30th, 2025, multiple teams at major observatories are racing to compare Hanakaha data with spectral readings to determine the nature of the tail's material. The entire process is happening in near real time, as a seemingly familiar phenomenon has the potential to open a new chapter in planetary science. The findings from Hawaii join an increasingly dense stream of data in November that suggests 3i Atlas is behaving in ways that defy traditional classification schemes. The clarity of Kalopa Star's images forced researchers to move beyond theoretical modeling and toward direct observational verification. The question is no longer whether the anomaly exists, but what mechanism can maintain such a delicate structure in the turbulent environment of the solar wind? The fact that the tail remains coherent in the face of high energy. Particle streams has led astrophysicists to consider the possibility of the presence of a form of matter not described by the standard model. Deciphering the shape of the jet tail during Atlas III, I perihelion is therefore a top priority. With its closest approach due on December 19, 2025, the window for data collection is rapidly closing, making Hanekaha's high-resolution images a key resource. From both a scientific and observational standpoint, these are landmark data. Current reports show that the images of Kalopa stars created using ultra-short exposure stacking to suppress atmospheric turbulence achieve sub-arc second resolution right at the comet's tip. This allows for a sharp boundary between the main and the controversial opposite tails to be revealed with rare contrast. The technique also completely removes flare that obscures many essential details, revealing delicate structures and suggesting the possibility that some physical laws of comets are not yet incorporated into classical models. According to the latest technical analysis, the anti-tail of Comet 3i Atlas is not just a transient effect when Earth passes through the orbital plane, but can be observed over a long period of time, showing signs of a continuous eruption of material or a stable structure that is always aligned with the Sunday. This data goes beyond the realm of speculation and forces science to reconsider the understanding of comet dynamics. Data from C-STAR S50 and Space Tracker updates have refined orbital parameters and changed estimates of the nucleus's size and surrounding density. 
The stability of the anti-tail across multiple observations from Hawaii provides a solid basis for comparison with space measurements. The normally chaotic neck region, where dust and gas begin to coalesce, appears strangely linear in the Calopa star's image, highlighting the question of how 3I Atlas maintains a coherent structure under intense radiation pressure. A typical dust snow comet would shed turbulent gas, but the smoothness and sharpness in the observations suggested a solid rocky or metallic core, or a rare, uniform outgassing mechanism. Computer simulations showed that the standard comet model predicted a broad dust tail, contrary to the extremely thin anti-tail observed by Calopa stars. This led the teams to focus on spectroscopy to clarify the nature of the material. Comets typically have two tails, but for the dust tail to form a sharp line, the particles must be extremely large and uniform in size and mass. The perfect collimation in the Hawaii image shows a level of uniformity so rare that it is almost incompatible with a natural comet. This is why some researchers, including Avi Loeb, question the possibility of a stable structure created by an unnatural mechanism, although this view remains a minority. Traditional astronomers favor the theory that 3I Atlas is a metallic fragment from a fragmented body, capable of generating heavy dust without artificial factors. NASA and its collaborators are using Calopa Star's data to optimize James Webb observations, with the goal of determining the chemical composition of the grains, which can help distinguish between natural rock and refined alloys. 3I Atlas, with its unpredictable orbit, has fostered collaboration between amateurs and professionals. The observing conditions at Hanukkah produce high-quality data that helps AI accurately process images of ultra-thin anti-tails. Space Tracker also recorded a small anti-gravity acceleration that did not align with the anti-tail, raising questions about the source of the thrust in the absence of obvious signs of an eruption. The possibility that the nucleus is rotating on a special axis that creates a thin dust disk is considered a strong hypothesis, especially since the steady brightness over the past 72 hours supports this scenario. However, it is unusual for a sub-one-kilometer comet to maintain a steady rotation while outgassing, suggesting that its nucleus has a very homogeneous density, consistent with the metal-rich nucleus hypothesis. The most important point is that 3I Atlas is an interstellar object, meaning that its composition reflects the formation environment of another star system. The distinct difference in its sharp and stable anti-tail suggests that it originated from a material environment very different from our own solar system. In other words, we are directly observing a geological sample of an alien planetary system using telescopes in Hawaii, and each observation from 3I Atlas could change our understanding of the structure of matter in the universe. If 3I Atlas is indeed a piece of metal that behaves like a comet, it not only challenges our current understanding of planetary destruction, but also reveals a violent history in the star system where it was born. But if Loeb's argument for engineered stability is correct, the implications extend beyond geology and into sociology, touching on larger questions about the nature of extraterrestrial intelligence. Although 99% of current data supports the natural explanation, the remaining 1% remains controversial because it contains structural anomalies that do not fit existing models, making the scientific debate increasingly fierce. The theory of natural dust sorting remains the leading candidate. Radiation pressure pushes small particles faster, large particles slower, perhaps creating sharp lines when viewed from the right angle. But the Hawaii images show opposing tails that are too straight and thin, requiring near-perfect sorting or an unusually uniform particle size distribution, which is rare in nature, which always produces a mix of sizes. This uniformity has led some researchers to question the possibility of a technical signature. While it could be a geometric coincidence, this low probability requires careful scrutiny by the community. And this shifts the focus from observation to the question of whether there are any anomalies lurking beneath the surface of the data. Anti-tails are not a new phenomenon. R.N. Roland, 1957, and Pan Stars, 2013, have demonstrated them before, but both were broad dust bands in contrast to the razor-thin nature of Atlas III. This makes the current case a clear exception. The C-Star S50, a symbol of data democratization, allows a global network of observers to track comet tails hourly. The high frequency of data helps test the stability of the anticometal tail. 
If it oscillates or changes angle, the static dust model would collapse. So far, however, the anticometal tail has remained stable, supporting the theory of orbital plane interference rather than propulsion. But this stability highlights the biggest mystery of all. Why is the dust so uniform? This question is fueling new analysis, as the answer could reveal the true nature of 3i Atlas and the mechanisms by which interstellar objects form. Scientists are still searching for answers. NASA is maintaining its established observing schedule, indicating that the agency is confident in the natural explanation for 3i Atlas's reverse tail. However, NASA has also publicly acknowledged the high level of public interest and the uniqueness of the visual features the comet displays. At the same time, the space tracker community is becoming the focus of real-time updates, connecting raw data from amateur observers with peer-reviewed analysis from experts. What's happening is not only of scientific value, but also of profound social significance. As we move into December 2025, the Earth-based view of the comet will change as the planet moves out of 3i Atlas's orbital plane. This will be a crucial phase. If the anti-tail is just a projection effect, it will widen and gradually fade, as the geometric model predicts. But if it stays super narrow and focused even as Earth moves out of the orbital plane, that would disprove the projection effect theory. And this is where the scientific consensus breaks down. The Hanakaha image provides the perfect benchmark for tracking the anti-cometal tail's expansion in the coming days. Its late November timing puts it right at the cusp of a major geometric change. The next two weeks will be a test. Each night, the anti-cometal tail will remain razor thin, putting traditional models under increasing stress. If this phenomenon persists beyond optimal alignment, scientists will be forced to consider additional anti-gravity mechanisms, such as magnetism or, most speculatively, artificial confinement. This leads to the next crucial step, spectral analysis. Only spectra can determine the true composition of a dust particle. The light reflected from the antimatter tail carries the signature of matter. If it is rich in iron, the spectrum will show characteristic absorption lines. If it is ice, the spectrum will be completely different. What is suspicious is the unusual brightness of the reverse tail in images taken from Hawaii. This high reflectivity is consistent with ice, but the mass required to maintain collimation suggests a metallic component. This ice metal paradox is becoming the focus of laboratory models. A hybrid solution has been proposed, a layer of highly metal-rich dust ice in which iron pebbles are encased in ice. As the ice sublimates, the remaining heavy metal grains fall straight into the orbital plane, forming a uniform layer of heavy dust. This model reconciles both the high albedo and the unusually large mass. It suggests that Atlas 3i formed at the snowline boundary of a protoplanetary disk, where ice and metal coexist, an environment not unlike our own solar system. If so, then we are now directly observing the geology of the snow boundary zone in a distant star system, not with a billion-dollar observatory, but with a telescope bought and installed by an amateur astronomer in Hawaii. This is a testament to a new era of observational science, where the line between big research and public participation is blurrier than ever. The data points are real, the mystery is real, and the answers are still waiting in the coming weeks. That's what makes 3i Atlas one of the most important astronomical events of the decade. Avi Loeb's controversial views are playing a special role in the study of 3i Atlas. As the artificial stabilization hypothesis is debated, scientists are forced to simulate dust dynamics with greater precision than usual to prove the naturalness of the phenomenon. As a result, our understanding of cometary physics is expanding, regardless of the final conclusion. 3i Atlas's thin antipodal tail now poses a direct challenge to solar wind models. This collimation led many researchers to suspect that the comet's nucleus must be rich in metals. A low-density icy core would release gas in a chaotic manner, while a metallic core would produce a more concentrated flow. Unusually, a metallic object would not typically emit gas, but 3i Atlas exhibited a hybrid behavior, being part rock, part comet. The Sea Star S50 images show a small central condensation compared to the amount of tail suggesting a small but active nucleus, consistent with both the artificial scenario and a metallic core containing volatiles. The role of AI in processing images of Kalopa stars is also being examined. 
Despite concerns about algorithmic noise, the raw data has been released and independently confirmed that the linear structure does exist. For now, the existence of the antimatter tail has been confirmed. Its explanation remains a mystery. Space Tracker is collecting images from the Southern Hemisphere to build a 3D model to measure the true thickness of the dust layer. If the dust layer is as thin as it appears, just a few kilometers over millions of kilometers, it would be nearly impossible due to turbulent solar wind conditions. This leads to theories of confinement. Could a comet carry a magnetic field? Charged dust can be bound by magnetic field lines, but comets don't generate their own magnetic fields. Only planetary cores do. If 3I Atlas is a magnetic planetary core, it could confine dust with its magnetic field, creating a collimated antitail without any artificial randomness. The images from Hawaii are the first to support this possibility. A magnetometer on a new spacecraft could confirm this, but for now we have to infer it from the motion of the charged dust. The Sea Star S50 with its small aperture would only be able to see this structure if it were very bright. High surface brightness indicates high dust density, which means a very high mass loss rate. If 3I Atlas were smaller than 500 meters, it would not be able to maintain this rate for long. Its persistence suggests it is larger, highly reflective, or has an extremely efficient escape mechanism. As we approach perihelion in December, rising temperatures will accelerate the mass loss. The tail may thicken, break apart, or, if magnetically constrained, maintain its shape despite the increased pressure of the solar wind. The next three weeks of observations will be the definitive test. As of November 30th, 2025, we have high-resolution images of a seemingly unphysical structure attached to an interstellar object with closest approach on December 19th, a divided scientific community, and a global network of observers tracking every pixel. This is the definition of groundbreaking science. The next step is to move from imaging to spectroscopy to determine the chemical composition of the anticometal tail. Observations are currently being focused on spectrometers. Observations in early December will focus on the infrared range to determine grain sizes. If the infrared data are consistent with a thin, sharp anticometal tail, the dust-heavy model will be reinforced. If not, the mystery will deepen. To this day, the Atlas III-I anti-tail remains the most fascinating astronomical phenomenon in the sky, reminding us that current cosmological models are based on local examples. The Hanekaha image is the central reference point for all subsequent analysis. The scientific method is happening in real time, pixel by pixel, frame by frame, between collaborations of amateurs and professionals. The final answer may not come until 3i Atlas departs, but the data being collected now will be key. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel as the view of Earth changes and the true nature of the razor-thin tail is revealed. Until then, 3i Atlas remains a sharp boundary that challenges our understanding of the universe.